277 for Dean Cox. Way back in 2001 when he made his debut in round two against the Swans. Six-time All-Australian, best and fairest winner. Yeah, it was a, an unbelievable feeling, I think, um, to be able to do it with my little daughter, but, but also everyone involved at the footy club that's had an impact along my career and helped me get to the amount of games I've got to was, um, was a great honour and I suppose, um, you know, looking back on it now, it's a, it's a pretty big achievement and just if the result was a little bit better, it would have been great. Everything's about performance and we fell way, way short on the weekend. So, you know, it, wasn't a, it was great to reflect on the games that I'd had previously, but it was all about trying to beat Geelong in Geelong. Um, I was really excited to actually get the game over with. So you just go about focusing on, um, you know, just the normal weekly stuff that we do and try and prepare for games of footy. So, um, but yeah, probably took a little bit of shine off. Cox tries to break the deadlock. Awesome ruck work. Yeah, that was great. Oh, certainly Gardy helped me a heap throughout my, I suppose, first couple of years when I was trying to really learn the uh, craft of rucking. And to be able to train and do everything against him was um, always testing yourself. But, you know, I think Woosh and Tony McHale, um, they were my coaches. Booby I had from a young age at East Perth and really developed me as, as quickly as he could and then obviously assisted whilst under Woosha. So um, they were two people that uh, I looked to for guidance in not only football terms but sort of everyday life as well. And he will go all the way. I was fortunate enough to play a lot of, you know, a fair bit of footy with Jacko when I first started. So um, stayed in regular contact since then and um, no, he's always been one that's uh, been happy with my career and, and the way I go about my footy, so um, he was always an idol as well when I was younger. And if we could finish on the same, would have been even better. It's one of the best ruckmen that I've ever seen. His ability to run and spread is elite. I thought, um, you know, I certainly would be lucky to last on that for at least for a year. And then, as the seasons unfolded, I was fortunate enough to have a bit of luck along the way and. Um, string so many games together. Is there a sense of theatre in Cripps? He's kicked a couple. Yes, there is. He's done the right thing. The team thing. The post thing. Oh. The goal. Your first game, I think you'll always remember. Um, because you work so hard to get to an AFL list but get the opportunity. But I suppose along the way to be able to have success and grand final and all that. but. To be able to share with a lot of people, as you said, like Embers and Sellers' last game, um, people's 200th, 250ths, because um, you've played a lot of footy with them. Oh, I think, you know, Glassy, Curry, um, Embers and Sellers, to be able to run out and sort of see them at the end of their career and what they've done throughout the whole period I've been a part of as well is, um, you know, some pretty touching memories. I think at the minute my body certainly allows me um, to play footy the way I want to and then I suppose now it's just a matter of can it, can it hold on for you know, another season. Um, I think it can but that'll be determined at the end of the year and you know, if the 300, if I do play next year and the 300 is there well um, you know, it's another thing that I'll be able to reflect back on when I do finish very proud. Number 20, Dean Cox.